excited. It's been a lot of fun. It's my very first fashion week, so I'm I'm enjoying myself. I think the most important thing is is to be less concerned about starting your own design house and really going to work for someone that you admire, whose work you love. Thirteen years ago, you had a vision. Tell us that vision. The vision was that there were several students who were interested in not only singing the gospel music, but singing, period. It showcases for the world how important uh, FIT is to the industry and the great respect that clearly people uh, have for us and the esteem in which we're held. Hey FIT, this is Adrian Smith for Real Talk, and today I have the FITSA president with me, Mr. Will Cope. How well, are you we're doing, so Adrian? excited. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing good great. To this is my first interview for the season, so I'm a little bit nervous getting back into the, the mood of things, but I'm really excited. I wanted to make it a point to interview you first because, you know, WFIT is for the students, mm -hmm. and anything involving students is going to go right to you as yes. you are the president. So I want to start there. When did you decide that, you know what? I want to be the president of the FIT student body. Um, it was around elections last year, and um, it kind of all snowballed. I was on the programming board um, for the 2008-2009 school okay. year. I was friends with a lot of people on the executive board, and I kind of was interested in that aspect of FITSA, the more um, business end, about finance and making more decisions, because programming board's more of the fun kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I spoke to Meredith a lot, the old president, and kind of wanted to see like the insight and how she felt about it, and she raved about it. She loved it. She said she learned so much. Um, and she was like, yeah, I definitely think you should think about it some more. So I went to leadership workshop, okay. um, and I had a blast there, and that was once I really got there was when I decided that I was, was definitely going to run. workshop in the spring? In the spring, okay. yes. Okay. So I met a whole bunch of people. We recruited people to um, fill other positions that no one was running for um, and things like that. And it was just such a great environment, such a great bond that I was like, yes, I definitely want to run for um, fit to president and hopefully make a mark. Now your campaign was genius. It was very simple. It was vote, cope. And I think when doing a campaign, it was you know, you definitely want to get those those slogans and those words that are easy to remember. Yeah. And I remember it was just, it was perfect. It was Vote Cope. You remember you. when you go to the polls, Vote Cope. Thank you. Thank but you very much. I have to say, I think the icing on the cake mm -hmm. was Miss Alexis Jones. That. Who is, Alex, who is Alexis Jones? Where did she come from? <laughs> Where is she now? Are we going to see her this year? I need to know because when she came on the stage with her <laughs> big hair and her leotard, and she gave the mm -hmm. kids her Beyonce duo. Mm -hmm. I, I was on my feet. <laughs> I was on I can't. Well, okay. she she's a lot of fun. She's um, loud mouth tells like it is. She keeps it very real. Very Brooklyn girl. Very, yeah, well, she's from Atlanta. <laughs> oh, she's from Atlanta? She's from Atlanta. <laughs> her mother couldn't afford a car, so she named her daughter Alexis. Okay. And she's just really, she's really fresh and fun. I love her. She's kind of like, if I feel like if I was a woman, I would kind of be an Alexis Jones. Maybe not. <laughs> as much as Alexis Jones, because she's a lot. She's a lot. But um, I would kind of be a little a little bit of myself as an Alexis Jones. She's a little bit of me, too. Now, will we see Alexis? Because the freshmen, you guys probably don't know, have any idea what I'm talking about. But spring <laughs> semester, the biggest event, I mean, when I tell you, sample sales, they don't have anything on this FIT. The line mm -hmm. was wrapped literally around the school. Like, how many people didn't get in? Um, we had to turn away over a hundred people. A hundred people. Because I mean, it, it was the biggest event in FIT history for a while. I yeah, mean, it was out of control. So freshmen, look out for Miss FIT. But I want, is, are we going to see Miss Alexis Jones this yes, year? Yes, she will be back. She's okay. the reigning queen, okay. reigning Miss FIT. She will be performing. Um, she might be making an appearance before then. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. Um, but this I'll keep you updated. Graduate. I mean, if you graduate in the fall, take another class for the spring. <laughs> you need to come. That's how good it was. You need to come back. It was really, it was Alexis really Jones. something. More about your role as president, because I think, you know, a lot of students come and they want to know, how do I get involved? Or I don't like this. Or why is the cafeteria closing this early? Mm -hmm. uh, why does the library, why is the library not 24 hours? Why is the computer lab 24 hours? And a lot of these issues make sense, yeah. you know? At FIT, we're known for being working, some of us work best in the wee hours of the night. <laughs> yep, how do we like get myself. this? 
how do we how do we get our voices heard? How are you an outlet for us to do this? Well, FITSA in general is the outlet that any if any student has any kind of issue, um, we have someone on either the executive board, the programming board, or myself that can um, take that and get it to who needs to hear it to change it. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put you on the spot because I happen to know for a fact and I have seen on video footage that you freestyle. <laughs> so you know I was not gonna let you come on Real Talk and not give me drop a beat. I'm gonna drop you, you I don't, tell me what you need me to do. Well, this, well, I really don't freestyle that well <laughs> at all. Clearly, if you watch that video, it's not good. But I do sing to myself all the time, okay. whether I'm singing like a song or singing something else. And I'm always like singing in the workroom kind of thing when I'm doing projects or whatever. But I just, I'm working on a new song, okay. completely original. I'll give you the hook, because that's all I have. Hook. This is, let me introduce you. It's real good. It's. Two parts, there's the boy and then there's, there's the, the, girl. the girl part. There's the boy part or the girl part? I'll give you both. Okay, and what's the name of the song? It's called What You Know. All right, ladies and it's gentlemen, <laughs> Zadrian Smith for Real Talk. We have Will Cope as an artist. What You Know, this is a premiere. Because, because what you know, what you, what you, what you know. And the girl goes, I know nothing, but you can teach me something. You know what you, what you, what you know. I know nothing but you can teach me something. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I'm about to sell that to Soldier Boy. It's going to be a hit. All right, second request. Yes. Ever since I saw the single ladies video, I wanted to learn some of the choreography. I okay. just have not had the time. <laughs> I know you know the choreo. I do. So I'm going to ask you to teach me maybe like two or three eight counts. Okay. So let's get it. Let's do it. All right. I sing that all I'm single lady. All 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 the single ladies, now put your hands up, up in the club, just broke up, you and my own little thing. You decided to dip, and now you want to trip on your butt. Oh, you did it! This is Adrian Smith, FIT, for Real Talk, and today I had the pleasure of speaking with the president of our student body. We got a little freestyle, we got a little choreography. My new single. Up close and personal, so Will, thank you so much for being my thank you. But Thank you so much. If students want to reach out to you, yes. get in contact with you, voice concerns, how do they do that? Um, come on up to Student Life. Um, it is the A building, 7th floor, 713. I'm most of the time there, but if not, um, you can contact me. Feel free to email me, william underscore cope at fitnyc.edu. And um, if not, I have a mailbox up there if you want to slip me a note or anything. Um, just ask one of the lovely ladies up there, they'll help you out. So stay tuned for the next episode of Real Talk. I'll be interviewing Dr. Nancy Grossman, who's actually the director of Student yes. Life. So I'll just be filtrating my way through the office. Have a good day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you so much. All the single ladies. 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 Now put your hands up. Up in the club.